What's up guys? Welcome back to The Mindful Spoon and today's gonna be a vlog so you can probably tell by like me wearing no makeup and just kind of like chilling out. It is still a work day and I'm still working right now but I'm actually on my lunch. I have my full-time job and then I do this on the side so I like to edit and create new content like during my lunches and my breaks and stuff like that so I'm really excited because right now I'm gonna be creating a recipe and y'all, it's been getting so cold here, so cold here in LA that I just don't want to go out. Like I don't want to go out and grab like the ingredients for the recipe. So we'll see. Hopefully we have everything for the recipe because later today we are actually going to be having like a live painting class. My job's being pretty cool about like the whole staying at home thing and they're being really generous and actually providing activities for us. Yesterday I went to Michael's and I bought like extra things so that I can go ahead and do it with my family and stuff like that so we're gonna be doing that today and I'm gonna show you a little bit of that this seems weird because like I normally start my vlogs in the mornings but this is like it's like almost 3 p.m. right now the live class is in two hours so we have that I also really want to show you oh my gosh I really want to show you my costume for Halloween because Halloween is on Saturday but I upload these vlogs on Saturday so you won't be able to see it so maybe later on I'll put it on for you guys I have almost everything I just need the goggles because I'll let you guys know what I'm gonna be later I don't want to tell it right now so yeah I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I do on a daily basis and what I do when it comes to content creating because creating recipes and stuff is like a whole like whole show i feel like people think that creating recipes and content is probably really easy but it takes a lot of hours it probably takes me for a vlog like this it'll take me quite a while to edit it and to add everything to add links and all that stuff so i'm actually taking out this table mat where i use it for all my like recipes and stuff like that because it's actually like wooden it's a little wrinkled so if anyone knows how to like unwrinkle this type of material it's like plasticky material which is great because if i spill something i don't need to wash it i just need to like clean it off with like a towel now i'm kind of stuck on what to do because we just got fresh shrimp that's frozen and i don't know if to make shrimp tacos or to make potato tacos also usually what i do is i prep everything that i need for the tacos and for everything before i actually start setting up my whole shindig Okay, so it's a little later and I'm eating a Laurel bar. This is like my favorite flavor. If you guys are looking for a good like fruit bar, I guess, that is clean in ingredients, Laurel bars are the best. This is the apple pie flavor and it's like my favorite flavor. It literally only has six ingredients, which are super, super clean. And so right now I'm actually looking at the pictures that I took from yesterday. As you guys saw, I did like a whole recipe video and I'm gonna be editing it either tonight or tomorrow morning so that I can upload it later tomorrow so that it could be up in the Instagram. But this has never happened to me before. I kind of hate it. Like not the recipe process or the way I shot it. It's more like how it came out. It came out really delicious and really good. It was like shrimp potato tacos. But the way I try to take pictures of them came out... I don't know like they came out so ugly <laughs> okay so as you can see it's the tacos or whatever they're really good and i just didn't know how to style them so they looked good so then i added kind of like cheese to them but the cheese looks kind of off so i don't know exactly like what to do um i really like i'm so confused because i feel like it probably won't look appetizing if people like see this or something sometimes i want to create like really cool content and really cool stuff i have like a creativity block and i've noticed that what helps me every time i get like a creativity block is going out for walks and going in nature always works for me like i literally like it's like it's as if like my mind completely clears of every single problem that i've had before
Okay, I just <laughs> I just finished my workout. I'm like super sticky, but today has been a day. Let me put this camera down. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to start kind of like working out again, but not pushing myself to the point where I hate it because I've done that way too many times and it just doesn't work that way. It's like a weird obsessive period where I just get really excited about doing stuff and then once I start doing it, I don't want to stop and sometimes that causes my body to stop for me by creating certain illnesses or whatever it is or certain things come up. I've been listening to a couple of audiobooks. One of them that I really like so far is Atomic Habits by James Clear, I think is his name. But in the book, he pretty much talks about the power of habits, I guess, versus the power of not doing anything. He gives this really cool example where he talks about his friend who was a smoker or something like that. And he was trying to quit smoking. And then one day someone asked him if he wanted to have a smoke with them or like have a cigarette or whatever. And he said, oh, sorry, I don't smoke anymore. And the author makes it clear that you kind of have to identify with who you want to be. So instead of saying, oh, sorry, I don't smoke anymore, you say, oh, sorry, I'm not a smoker. Which I thought was really interesting because a lot of times we kind of don't identify ourselves as what we want to be. So like if you want to reach a certain point in your weight loss journey you don't identify yourself as a healthy person you just identify yourself as a person that you are now and it kind of brings up the topic of like if you're in that weight loss journey you have to ask yourself what would a healthy person do and you kind of find those answers within yourself so i've definitely been doing that and taking that into account i've been keeping it really simple for myself and really easy so that it's easy for me to attain those goals so what i do is i work out from four to five times a week and in those four to five times a week i try to work out only 30 minutes and that's it sometimes i really try to go overboard and if i really have the energy and the time to do it then i'll do it but i always tell myself like no 30 minutes you have to either get up and walk for 30 minutes do chores for 30 minutes that require you to move around and not sit around do something that moves your body for 30 minutes and that has really made a big impact in my body trying on my whole costume for tonight tonight we're gonna do like a little shindig thing with just like family and stuff so it's gonna be really cool i have my my wig and these are supposed to be goggles but i'm i have other goggles that are coming later but i'm just putting these in um can you guys tell what i am can you please tell me you can who knew having a wig would be so comforting I kind of like it. So I have the crazy hair, the goggles, and then like a cool Hawaiian shirt type of thing, a fanny pack. And then I'm going to change these shoes as well later. So you guys will be able to see the full thing on our Instagram, on my Instagram actually. So I'll be putting my Instagram down below and I'll link it here. So I wanted to make sure I showed you guys my costume before I close out the end of this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's kind of like a random video, but I mean, that's how all my vlogs are. So anyways, happy Halloween, happy blue moon, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.